Hey, in today's video, man, I wanna I wanna tell people to, to pray for brothers like Ringo TV. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I've seen a lot of different disagreements and things like that, but I haven't seen anything as excessive as this one. And man, I'm not a fan of making fun of anybody with a disability anybody with a, 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 a mental illness and spiritual retardation is a real thing. Spiritual retardation is a real thing because oftentimes people don't even know that they have it. They think that they are in faith. They think that they are walking in righteousness. And when we look at the evidence, we see spiritual retardation. That's not funny. Man, if you type in virgin auction block, virgin auction block on your YouTube search, man, check out the first two videos that come up. You know, the first one is not that long. And even listening to that brother, uh, just a bit of that video, I said, that brother, we need to pray for that brother too. You know? And then you go, to the second one, which is Ringo TV. And there is a hour on hour on hour long video about the Virgin Auction Block. That's the title of it, you'll see the title. Got Pastor's Dow name all on it. Man, there's truly uh, something going on there when a man has that much time on his hands to uh, go to the lengths and it truly exposes there's some behind there there's there's a there's a spirit uh, an obsession there there's something going on man if you go back about three videos there's a video with Ringo TV called the problem with dating and some of the stuff that he says in that video, don't line up with virgin auction block. And here's the here is the status. Here's, here's, here's where it comes down to. All throughout the book, we see that there's a, a price to be paid for a virgin. Even us, man, we was we was bought for a price. But there's something going on in these times where men don't want to take possession of their women. Because where you don't take possession, there ain't no ownership. And you just, for whatever. You know, man, I sit up and saw a clip of the video, a piece of the video, and I said, man, ain't nobody got time to, to watch all this. You gotta think, man, I, I, I'm an active duty soldier. Man, I work full time. Sometimes uh, 65 plus hours a week and then go home and run a business. But to set up and persecute a man about uh, keeping the daughters pure, about ensuring that that same thing that we read in the book about a woman being a virgin and that, that, that driving a certain price that offends you? I said, okay, huh. If a woman ain't a virgin, okay, I go, I go through some statuses. Okay, maybe she's divorced. Maybe she's a widow, okay? Or maybe she don't qualify for any of those. Maybe she's a concubine. We, we go there, maybe she's a concubine. But other than that, 
you got a woman that's just an adulterer and a fornicator. So I said, if you don't want the virgin woman who is pure, you must want the woman that's been out there. Something is off there. Something is off when you devote that much time and all throughout the book, you know, let me give you something. All throughout the book, it's talking about uh, there's a there's a virginity has to do with pureness, and for these brothers to sit up and make a video, and for Ringo to make a video that long, I said, man, something is not right. There's a that's a uh, that's almost like an infatuation with that's a little that's a little suspect. That's a little suspect. Shame a man for going out to a virgin. Then the other brother counted it like, uh, he said something about, you know, they, they, they acting like Diddy. Diddy stuff ain't even been proven yet. It, it, it's still in the works. But they try to mix in that heathen mindset with a little bit of biblical knowledge. And if you got that much time on your hand, there can't be no application. There cannot be no application. You must be anti-virginity. If you think it's a virgin auction block, you gotta think, man, there's, there's, just because you might have defiled yourself with some suspect actions or with fornication and all of this stuff, that doesn't mean that there's not some brothers out there pure that they don't want one of these women that's been defiled, defiled soil. There ain't nothing wrong with uh, getting back to them biblical roles. And you said in the problem with dating yourself in that video that these women aren't being raised to be wives. So I, I said, man, that's, that's kind of double-minded. Y'all sitting up making videos about virgin auction block. Just cause you sit up and entertain uh, and have settled for a woman that has given herself away and there's been no price. That, that don't mean you're supposed to drive the price up on these uh, defiled women. That's something that women do. You got women that have given their body away. They shame other women for doggone uh, having their virginity. They start saying, oh, you a pick me. Something got to be wrong with you. I'm telling you, man, there's a certain type of man when, when they hear Shep Dow, that spirit of softness is in them and it gets provoked. And I tell you, man, you have people that think that they are walking in truth. People think that they are a doer of the word, think that they got faith with works, and you'll find out, man, that they, 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 they spiritually retarded and they need to be prayed for. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, man, because uh, I got work to do. I don't have that much time to spend on no man. But pray for these brothers out there, man, because they're showing you what kind of suspect spirit is in them for them to devote that much time, that much time on another man. Some men are fascinated with other men. That's that's okay, but hey, I understand it. I understand it, I see it. But y'all need to pray for Brother Ringo TV and all, all, the, all the other brothers following in that lead. Pray for that brother. Pray for that brother, because it's something, it's something going on there, something going on. Go in, I mean, I'm about to go in and take a little shower, get on back to work, be a productive citizen. Ain't got that much time to waste on any man closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. <laughs>